bike review. We're out here with the 2021 CF Moto 650MT. Had it for about six months so far and it's been awesome. Um, I just recently upgraded from a CBR 500, so it's much more comfortable. I needed something a little bit bigger to get to uni on, a little bit uh, more dual sports style. I can take it on the trail as well. Uh, so far we've added some Avon trail riders. They've been awesome. Uh, we've got some eBay spec bar risers, which has given us a, about an inch extra. Uh, it's a lot more comfortable when we're standing up and riding. We've got our shad luggage here as well. That's a recent addition that's been awesome for the commute. It's got a uni filter in here as well. It's a replaceable oilable panel filter. Um, you've probably read about most of these upgrades on the website. We're looking for an exhaust and um, if we can find one we've got to tweak the suspension a little bit it's a bit too soft on the dirt it tends to bottom out I'm about 100 kilos um, it's probably not set up for that uh, so exhaust suspension we'll also be looking to install some spotlights on the crash bars down the front we can wire them up onto the handlebars or into the little DC outlet up here on the dash uh, we're looking for a, a radiator guard and a bash plate for a bit of added protection when it's on the trails uh, we're also looking to uh, raise the seat height about half an inch or so probably look at getting it reupholstered or finding a higher seat so in terms of performance, we're happy with the gearing and the gearbox. It's great, we're not gonna muck around with that. Um, we'll look at upgrading the brake pad material, something with a little more bite to it. Uh, once we're finished with these Avons, we'll go for something a little bit more aggressive, maybe a 50-50. The Avons here are a 90-10. Uh, once we've set it up for a little bit more off-road, we'll go for a more aggressive tyre. But for now, um, we've got it for the rest of the year and into next. <laughs> I've been riding since I was about 11, mainly dirt, and then we moved onto the track. Uh, just never got around to getting my road license, but um, pretty much focused on the dirt the whole time. Done plenty of tests back with rapid bikes and knee down in the day up the farm, Eastern Creek. Uh, all the smaller bikes, ridden a couple of bigger bikes, but um, uh, that's why I needed a full size Lamb bike. But uh, it's, I'm a couple of months off my full license now, so I should be able to compare it to the full size 800 uh, very soon. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>